Hi, this is Jannikar from the Animate Development Team. In this tutorial or video I'll be showing you the new Blender add-on for Animate. Uh, so let's start a Blender. Uh, we wanted to make the the add-on a bit uh, easier to use. So let's see how that works. First let's go to User Preferences and install the add-on. It's now called uh, uh, and I made tools since the changes are quite big. Let's install it and let's enable it. Now you'll see quite a lot of stuff here. Uh, the first part is for the 3D view and the second part is for the game engine. Now let's also start up and I made so we can actually do something with this. And let's also import the example, simple bunny configuration. I'll be showing you the bunny a bit later in this video. So all we have is the full skeleton enab enabled with basic and orientation mode. And then set some. we have set some names here for the different joints. And we have the mirror left and right setting activated here. And let's see that the ports are equal in Animate and Blender. And now we can start, let's start by, for example, creating cubes. So what this does is it basically creates a geometry based on the received data directly, so that you don't have to match the names yourself. So let's see, let's start. Now I'll move in front of the sensor. Okay, they're created there. And there we have directly the data from the Kinect or the depth sensor which you are using. And now we've also added the rotational information. So you also get rotations without any constraints. Okay, now let's uh, stop the add-on. Now as you can see, I have this uh, reset button selected here. That do What that does is that uh, it always resets the object locations to where they were initially. So this is very nice for uh, rigging where you don't want the control points moving uh, or stopping wherever. <clears throat> uh, we also have this add rotations uh, option which uh, uh, actually rotates the objects based on their initial rotation. So for example if I rotate the head and now then activate the play again. Oh, let's add the rotations. Then you can see the head, is, head keeps its original orientation. Now let's move on to the uh, game engine part. Uh, we have these uh, uh, two different sections. The first one is uh, to get the motions locations of the skeleton data and the second is to get the live feed image from animate so whatever you see here in this live view you can put that straight into blender into the game engine uh, let's for example add the game logic to the camera to receive the joint motions so i can simply let's first uh, take the logic editor here, so there are no game logic here currently. Now we can just uh, let's check the add rotations and then create the game logic. And now if we press P and test the game engine, then it works directly in the game engine. And if I have to, for example, move the, move the port to a different value, I can simply move it here and then when I have the receiver object selected, I can simply click update game logic and the correct values will be selected here. Let's move that back to 7000 and update. Uh, now you can also start animate automatically uh, if you have the full license for animate by clicking here and then adding a configuration file path here 
or you can also quit animate when the game engine quits with uh, this option here. Uh, now one nice feature that we added was the uh, automatic live feeds. So now if I create a feed plane, let's get that default cube out of the way. Then now directly, if I press play, oh, we must go to textured mode. It has a UV test pattern in the beginning. But once I press P, then we have the direct live feed from Animate available in Blend Game Engine. And so now you can do stuff like this, for example, let's rotate the plane a bit and then move it closer to the camera. something like that. And let's parent it to the camera. So now if we move it to the other side so that we can see our character. So now what we have is something like this. So you can see the user directly. Also as the camera sees it and then you can play with the game engine character. Uh, I'll be going through in a, a later tutorial on how to actually start rigging this data that you get from here uh, into a character, but for now I'll simply load a, load a pre-made scene just to show you how, how it works. So now let's simply press P. The legs are also always a bit tricky as the sensor can't see them directly. But so this is basically a much simpler rig than the one we had before. As now we get the rotation directly, so there's no secondary skeleton or armature to actually take the motions. There are simply the empties that were automatically created from animate, and then there's a single skeleton with some rotation constraints to actually translate the motion of these empties and rotation to the motion of the of the character. So I think that's basically it. Go get the new plugin from from animate.com and have fun.